guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. It has a really, really long name, but oh my god, this is, I would say that this is the foundation that I've got the most requests for, like to do a review, because you guys don't even know. So many of you have been waiting for this video, so here it is. Just to let you know, I did get this from Beauty Base, not Beauty Bay. Uh, Beauty Base is like a high street shop. They don't really have a online website. It's just like it's on the high street. So there's one big one in Westfield, um, White City. Uh, I go to my local one, but you, there is a big one in the Westfield in London. So this was around £8 I got it for and I got the shade Tan. I'm really happy that I didn't get it online because I would have gone for a wrong shade and when I went in store I colour matched myself and Tan was like the perfect colour. Do you get 28ml in this foundation? The normal amount you get is 30ml so it's a normal size foundation I would say very affordable. So on the back it does say that it is a medium to full coverage and it's a smooth, long wearing, flawless looking finish. And then it says to use, apply to face with sponge or brush. And so I've been using this for a couple of days now and I actually really, really, really like it. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the pros and the cons. Um, so first of all, upon application, it's when you uh, squeeze some out, um, it does come with a pump by the way, which is very, very convenient packaging is really nice but when you squeeze the product out you can see that it's kind of uh, liquidy like it does drip down your hand um, which I was quite surprised about because I normally would say that um, full coverage foundations are quite thick but this one is um, quite liquidy and once you start like rubbing it into your skin you can definitely see that it's got really really good coverage now this is a very dewy foundation and I do have very very dry skin so I absolutely love the finish that it gives my skin it gives a nice glow to the skin I wouldn't say this would be really good for oily skin types because you will end up looking greasy it's not a matte foundation it's quite it's quite glowy I would say maybe combination you could get away with it you may you may need to powder uh, throughout the day but it's quite glowy so if you love glowy skin this would be a foundation for you so yeah I would definitely say that it's more for normal to dry skin types but as usual at the moment I really like to apply my foundations with a brush so that's what I did with this one and it really buffs in easily it's very easy to blend and you can definitely see when you put it on my skin that it's like the perfect match for my skin tone and it just blends really easily like any other foundation it doesn't and it doesn't like you know apply patchy at all and the thing that I love about this is that you guys know I don't set my makeup with powder and when I put other products on top of it like my bronzer this is what I'm wearing today my bronzer goes on it very very smoothly and it doesn't go on patchy even though I haven't set it with a powder so that's a huge plus for me with one layer I would definitely say you have a medium coverage and if you build upon it you will definitely get a fuller coverage I would say and even if you use a tiny bit you could use it every day and you know get a nice natural finish out of it and I think even on its own it looks very very natural I would say it's not cakey at all it definitely skin sinks into the skin nicely and it looks like skin in terms of longevity I definitely think it lasts so well throughout the day I mean I went to work with it and it came back and I did I wanted to check around here because my foundation fades away around here and around my nose but the two days that I've been wearing this foundation I, I was blowing my nose out throughout the day so I'll leave that area alone it obviously did come off a bit but I get because I like to lean on my face a lot it likes to come off around this area and it actually did so I went like that and the foundation was literally still there so um, it definitely stays put throughout the day and I don't even set with powder I do set with a makeup spray um, but even without powder it literally stays on so if you are wearing powder it's gonna last even longer I'll show you guys a picture right now of how it looked at the end of the day and with flash it looks really really good it doesn't really have SPF in here yeah, there's no SPF in this foundation, so it doesn't really give like a flashback when you use flash photography. So that's another plus. So if you're going to an event or something, it's going to look amazing in pictures. As you can see in the picture that I showed you guys, the foundation was really, really nicely on and it just stays glowy throughout the day as well. So I definitely give a tick for all the um, 
stuff that it says on the back. It's definitely full to me uh, medium to full coverage. It's definitely smooth, long wearing, and it definitely gives a flawless looking finish. So definitely does what it says. It doesn't really give me any smile lines and it actually didn't fade around my mouth area. I do prefer to colour correct when I'm using this foundation because um, it doesn't cover as well my pigmentation like you can still see through it and on a daily basis I'm actually not bothered with that but like today I have colour corrected and it definitely looks much more you know even if I don't colour correct you will see some of the pigmentation come through and yeah that's the only con I would say about this foundation oh and another con is for some reason like I don't know if my skin's going through a phase but it does kind of get a bit drier around my nose area like here but as I was saying I was blowing my um, nose out throughout the day so maybe it's because of that but even that today when I was applying it it did kind of flake a little bit so I would say that's another con I don't know why normally it's supposed to be hydrating and maybe it's just my nose that's super super dry and it's just my skin but I don't know it doesn't suit well with the skin on my nose I don't know but nevertheless I will still give this foundation a 10 out of 10 it's a really really good one it's super affordable and the shade range is very very good you guys know that shade range is super important to me a foundation needs to cover every single skin tone out there and there's so many to choose from literally it's like there's a color for everyone so I'm really happy about that and yeah it's a really really good drugstore foundation so I would definitely recommend this to anyone with normal to dry skin types if you're oily skin give it a try if you still want to try it out let me know how it works out for you um, but I would definitely say try it, try it with powder because it will look very very glowy um, even to like the oily side I would say and yeah I think that's all I have to say I'm just really happy that I have this one a lot of people have been talking about it and saying that it's really good and I hope you guys are happy that I've done this review I'm kind of late but I've finally done it so yeah as usual if you guys have any questions about the foundation make sure to ask them in the comments below i will answer all your questions and yeah that's all i have to say i really hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to give a thumbs up if you did find this helpful uh, let me know what other foundations you would like me to review subscribe if you're new to my channel i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>